Well, 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 here we are. Grand final week, and the grand final is a couple of days away. The nerves haven't quite set in, to be honest. I remember talking to you lot just before the Geelong prelim final clash, and I was a nervous wreck. I couldn't sleep. I was having dreams about the footy. I was thinking of every sort of scenario that would come up, and I think that added pressure of falling short of a grand final was the thing that was eating me up a little bit. I feel like we'd had such a great season, built this excitement around the footy club and then to get bundled out in a prelim to the Cats, I think just would have left the dirtiest taste in my mouth. But now, and I will revisit this point in a second, but but now it feels like we've got a bit of a free hit. Um, a free hit in terms of if you fall short to a great Western Bulldog side in the grand final. I can cop that and I, and I can live with that. Um, I, I just think making the grand final is such a huge achievement for the footy side that I've supported over the last 20, 25 years. So on one hand, I'm like, well, the pressure's off. This is a grand final. You know, it is what it is. Grand finals are hard to win. It is what it is. But on the other hand, I go, it is now or never. It's the best Melbourne footy side in 57 years. They're playing the best footy in 57 years. I feel very privileged to have witnessed one of the best D's teams in the last 60 years. Like it does feel, I feel very fortunate. I feel very lucky. I feel very fortunate to see Petrarca and Oliver wander out <laughs> into the middle of the MCG. Um, these are some of the stars of our footy club, some of the best players we've ever had at our footy club. And just it's it's just bumping in my head that it is now or never. Like we've never had this good of an opportunity. We can't take grand finals for granted. We can't take finals for granted. Uh, us Melbourne supporters know that more than anyone else. We make a prelim one year and we're finishing second last the next. That's unheard of. So we can't take it for granted. And we've just got to get it done. It just We have to get this done. And I know the players know it. And I know the, the footy club is well aware of it. And they've been building towards it so beautifully. The way that my footy teams conducted themselves in the media and the way they've conducted themselves with supporters, I, I just think has been first class and second to none. And the culture around this place is unrivaled. It, it's never been in this position before. And it is such a privilege. It's such a privilege to be a part of something where, you know, the, the players, every time they speak to the media, are reiterating that they're doing it for us and they're doing it for past players. And it's it's amazing to be part of a footy club where the past players are all in a WhatsApp group chat and they're just loving life at the moment. And it's the connection to the past. It's the connection to the players. It's just so inspiring. But we got to get it done. It, it is now or never. And I think I have enough faith and trust in this footy club that I know what I'm going to get on Saturday. And that is a foreign feeling for us Melbourne supporters. It's not often that we go to the MCG and have great comfort that we know what we're going to see out on the park. And we do this year. And we do for the next few years, I reckon. I reckon they've got enough credits in the bank now that when I go to the MCG next year, I know that I'm going to get consistent effort. I know that I'm going to get a team that defend really strongly without the ball. And I know I'm going to get a competitive bunch of blokes that are going to crack in hard. Really competitive, hard-edged uh, footy side. That's what gives me the trust and faith that I know what I'm going to get on Saturday. I know I'm going to get, you know, Viney putting his head over the bicky. I know I'm going to get Petrarca just leaving no stone unturned to get this done. I know we're going to see a Gorn play inspired football. And that just gets me so excited. For many years as a Melbourne footy club supporter, um, we, we'd be playing the 110 Sunday clashes or the Twilight Sunday clashes, the irrelevant games, the irrelevant games that no one would watch. And even over the last couple of years, but especially this year, we started to get given blockbuster clashes. We'd be put on a Friday night, Saturday night, Thursday night. And five, six, seven years ago, when we were on a Friday night, I would shudder. I'd be nervous all week. I don't want neutral supporters tuning into my football club because I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed by the way they play. I'm embarrassed by the effort they give. I'm embarrassed by the smiles they have walking off the park after losing by 80 points. I'm just a little bit embarrassed and a little bit ashamed to go for the footy club that I go for. And that's changed. I don't really fear 
having a Friday night clash anymore. I don't really fear being put on on a Saturday night and a big final and having the whole country watching. I welcome it. I'm excited to showcase my footy side to other supporters and people around the country and people in the industry. I I want them to tune into my footy side because I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the way they go about it. I'm so proud at the way they conduct themselves and I'm just proud it's just amazing and that started to change this year like we played a Friday night game against the Bulldogs it was the top two clash and I was to be perfectly honest I was shitting myself I was saying oh god a Friday night clash the whole country will be watching every footy supporter tunes in for Friday night football and it's my team they're going to be watching I hope I don't get embarrassed I hope they do us proud and they did and then the following week we had a Friday night clash against the Brisbane Lions down by 20 points at half time. I thought we fought on hard throughout the game. We come out in the second half and turn it completely around and we get the job done. And results like that really built this trust. It built this trust in me. So I'm so excited and I welcome the whole country will be tuning into a Melbourne footy club game. The whole country. I've seen people down the shops just in my local town and they're walking around with trolleys with beers and sausages and they're getting everything ready, some snacks, some dips, some crackers. They're getting everything ready for grand final day. And I sort of twigged. I'm like, not only are they getting everything ready for grand final day, these guys are preparing to watch a Melbourne footy club game. (laughs) Like everyone's uh, knocking off work early, got Friday off because they're preparing to watch the D's play. Everyone around the country is getting their crackers, getting their streamers, getting their beers to watch a D's game. And it's not just football fans, it's non-football fans. There's people around the world setting themselves, you know, clearing the schedule to tune into a D's game on Saturday. It is just crazy. And it's just bizarre. It is just so, so bizarre that the Melbourne Footy Club are in the biggest game of the year. We've earned the right. And I think we've earned the trust, and I, and I, I certainly trust them. I, I trust them going into this week that I know what I'm going to get in terms of effort, um, and that's I've I've never felt more prepared to go into a grand final. I've never felt more, yeah, prepared to to, to see my footy side play, um, and it's just an amazing feeling. And it's been a long time coming, and there's been a lot of people put in the hard yards. Um, everyone talks about like a Rusey and. Uh, and uh, Peter Jackson, but I was watching some old DTV footage and um, there's clips of like Daniel Cross getting interviewed when he came over to the footy side. I feel like we're not in this position we are today without like a Daniel Cross. And I remember when it was really bad and we had the David Rodens and Bernie Vinces and players like that just coming over to our club to give us a chop out. Now, I know they probably came over to our club to uh, buy a couple more years of their career, but they came over to our club when we were at our lowest point and they helped us. Like Cam Pedersen used to pinch hit in the ruck and pinch hit in the forward line and play Casey most of the year just to help us. We had so many people when we were at our lowest of our low really come in and give us a chop out from, yeah, fringe players like that but also people high up um, with your Peter Jackson and your Paul Ruses and It's so exciting. It's just so exciting. It's a privilege to be in this position. I will never take grand final week for granted because we played in two in 57 years. So, um, yeah, I'm not that nervous. I actually feel quite okay. I think the nerves will come Saturday Arvo. Uh, But, yeah, as I said, I've got a lot of faith and a lot of trust that I feel like I know what I'm going to get from the boys. And whether it's enough or maybe it might not be enough. It might not be enough to get us over the line, but I just have faith that the foot forward that they put will be enough to make me really proud of what they do on Saturday. So um, I'm going to give a bit of a tip. I'm going to go the D's by 27 points. I'm hoping, and this is like I'm sort of touching wood here. I'm sort of speaking this into existence more than anything, but I hope it's sort of controlled for four quarters. I hope we get a bit of a jump and then we professionally get the get the job done. Um But once again, it would not surprise me if the Western Bulldogs play the game of their life. They're a very good footy side and they've knocked us off throughout the year a couple of times. One in the preseason and one in round 18 or 19 or whatever it was. So I do respect the Bulldogs uh, immensely and it's going to take our best effort. But I have faith that the boys can potentially get it done. So I'll go the D's by 27 points. And I want a Clayton Oliver or Petrarca to win 
the Norm Smith because I want their footy resumes to start to stack up with some of the best players ever. So as much as I want one of them to win it, um, I I feel like they'll get their day in the sun. I feel like they'll get their their dues in uh, in time. And I'm going to go someone a little bit different. I'm going to go Jack Viney. I think Jack Viney plays out of his skin on Saturday. I think he plays the game of his career. He has been speaking about finals and getting this team back to where we belong since he got drafted. So I've been watching interviews on DTV since 2012, 2013 of this kid. And he is more Melbourne than any of us, to be honest. And I don't think we've been privileged enough to say that about our players before. I feel like we've looked at our players and thought... They don't care as much as us, but this bloke does and more. And um, I'm just so excited to see Jack Viney get unleashed on grand final day. So that's my tip. The D's by 27, Jack Viney for the Norm Smith. Um, and respect to the Bulldogs if they if they get it done because they are a good footy side and we respect them. We have to. They've been too good throughout the year to not, to not give them the respect. Anyway, guys, that's it for a little cheeky uh, grand final preview. Uh, nice and simple, nice and chilled. I hope you guys enjoy these sort of chilled videos. Uh, I'm thinking about doing these a little bit more next year. Um, I've been watching a lot of MMA and a Chael Sonnen has his own little YouTube channel and he just chucks up five, six minute clips, very casual, very unedited, just little rants. And I don't mind watching those. So um, going into next season, I usually avoid talking about football on my own channel. And that's why I was a little bit reluctant to do the Back Pocket Plugger podcast. I was interested in doing a footy podcast, but I was also like, do I want to be the guy that talks footy? But I, I like these little um, these little clips that I do. And I've been doing over the last couple of weeks for finals. So um, I think you might see more of these next year. Anyway, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching. This is it. This is what we've waited 57 years for. Good luck to the Melbourne Footy Club. Good luck to the lads. We are so proud of you no matter what. Um, and bring it home. Bring it home for us. Go days.